In the garden, I uh, tried out different sizes of wood chips, and you know, so here, uh, just from a, uh, an overhead view, you could probably see that the wood chips over here towards the left are larger, and then the wood chips uh, up you know, this other way to the right are going to be uh, much smaller. And uh, and what I did is I called up uh, different uh, tree pruning, uh, tree trimming, and pruning uh, companies. I uh, went, th uh, just asked them to deliver extra wood chips for free, and they were happy to do that. Uh, there was you know, one or two companies that you know, that were farther from my house, and they said that they'd be happy to bring them out if I pay for their gas to drive out here. It was just a very minimal, like ten or fifteen dollar fee, uh, just, you know, for them to drive out here. And you know, that, I thought that was very reasonable. And you know, that that truck was probably a you know, it was about 15 yards, uh, cubic yards of wood chips. So it was a very large load of wood chips for 15 bucks. I'm just going to show you what the. You know, I think that uh, from a moisture retention uh, standpoint, or from weeding, it didn't really make a big difference with regards to if the wood chips were bigger or smaller. So here you can, uh, you might be able to see that the, you know, uh, the, you just go down uh, an inch or less and you, know, you already are getting you know, moist dirt. So again, as I explained earlier, the, uh, when we put this down, we put about four inches of, of, of compost and then about you know, six to eight inches of wood chips on top and you know, you'll see that even after uh, just one year then uh, the uh, majority of the wood chips have decomposed so you, you have very uh, rich deep you know, black soil lots of, uh, of nice uh, you know, plant matter that's there and uh, even though we haven't had rain in the last, or rain or snow, anything in the last little while, there's, everything is just very moist and it stayed like this all throughout the you know, summer. Uh, when uh, it was a month, uh, more than a month without rain, and then we were still able to just water by uh, just uh, two times in the month and that was you know, more than adequate to keep all the plants you know, watered beyond what was needed. If you uh, look at the compost, everything's been composting very well, and I attribute that to two different factors. Well, one is that I added nitrogen uh, to the uh, uh, to the wood chips when I put them down, and I'll show you which nitrogen I used, and then I uh, also put in fungal spores from fungi.com and I'll show those to you in a little bit. And so again, this is just the wood, uh, large wood chips uh, on top of compost after uh, less than one year. Uh, if I uh, come a little bit farther uh, over here, then uh, this is just normal. Uh, yeah, these were the same wood chips, but what I did is I um, uh, ran them through a chipper shredder to uh, break them down because the ones that were delivered uh, were just kind of or larger and then you know, if you see you know, here if I start to pull back then immediately uh, then you go into a, a, a richer uh, deep dark soil and again it has just a nice amount of you know, plant matter very well uh, decomposed uh, you know, for less than one year and you know, just it's been working very very well so and we so uh, some people wanted to uh, ask, yeah, what is it uh, like on the place where I didn't really put any compost, I only put wood chips. So again, this is after one year, and just like in other places in the garden, you start to go down uh, and everything is moist, but on the other places, uh, you know, we're going down 
you know, not more than an inch and you're already getting into the the dirt but here instead of putting the uh, six to eight inches of wood chips I uh, ended up putting uh, more than a foot of wood chips just because we didn't have the compost and we had the wood chips but even after a year then uh, the uh, dirt uh, you know, these wood chips have composted just very nicely. This is a fantastic black, this very rich, deep soil. So, uh, in the first part, I mentioned two different things that I did to help speed up the uh, breakdown. Uh, I used again uh, nitrogen, and uh, then I used the fungi.com mushroom spores, and then I used different types of minerals. So I'm gonna. Uh, just out of comparison, what do the wood chips look like after one year uh, with when they do not have the fungal spores and nitrogen or minerals added to them? The funguses love minerals and wood matter, and uh, the wood has a lot of minerals in it as well. But you know, the just adding the minerals along with the fungus and the the nitrogen, the, every, they just go crazy, and they did a fantastic job in breaking down the soil. This is from the exact same uh, delivery. It was the, the 15 yards of wood chips that I received from one company. And after one year, uh, you pull yeah, pull back and you can see that they're, uh, they're moist when you go down an inch or so, just like anywhere else. But when you keep going, then you know, they haven't really uh, broke down uh, like they did in the garden area. So they're still just wood chips. Out of comparison, uh, if uh, so, this is uh, so this is after you know one year, and yeah, they they uh, they're softer and you and yeah they're absorbing moisture and you can tell by holding them maybe not by the can't through the camera but you can tell by holding them that they're breaking down, and yeah you know, in some places you know, they're a little bit smaller but it's not the deep rich black uh, soil that you have. In the in the garden, different spot in our you know, massive uh, wood chip uh, compost pile, and yeah, you know, so in here, uh, so those other wood chips had been uh, deposit or put in the spring, and they haven't really decomposed much. But if you take these uh, these ones, then uh, there is just a much darker, almost all the way to soil. You got lots of Little, little bugs and and uh, you know, microorganisms here, uh, and the difference is so even those these were from the fall they've decomposed much better uh, than the other wood chips, and the reason is because these were the leaves and uh, the wood chips together, uh, not just straight wood chips. And so anytime that you're able to get wood chips with the leaves, then that adds the nitrogen, and that's basically just nitrogen and uh, and wood chips, and uh, you get that. But And so instead of adding nitrogen uh, through uh, fertilizer, then you're able to use the natural nitrogen source of the leaves, and when they chip together, then it just becomes very, very, nice soil very quickly and I would guess that in another uh, couple of months that, that would be yeah, fully decomposed.